Hey, it's Matt, and this is our tips and tricks series where we talk about new features and existing functionality that can help you make the most of your data engineering pipelines with Mage. Um, and today I'm talking about parameterized execution, uh, parameterized runs. And so you might be asking, well, what is that and why would I use it? Um, so if you have some familiarity with data engineering pipelines, you might know about um, sort of runtime variables or parameterized runs. It's where uh, we define variables that change based on the date of the run, based on the time of the run, or based on something we supply at the beginning of the run, maybe via an API or some other variable that's passed into our orchestration tool of choice. And so in data engineering, a common pattern when you make calls to an API is to have the date, um, say, depend on uh, some variable that changes each day that you execute the pipeline. Um, and that way, you know you're getting fresh data. And so today, I'm going to walk through a little example for a weather API, fetching some data from a source, and show you how I used pipeline variables and uh, parameterized um, variables to make this pipeline update by day and fetch the latest data available. Um, so we can jump right into it. I have a very simple pipeline here where we're loading some weather data, we're transforming that data, and then we're writing it to Google Cloud. Um, and so this is using the uh, Open Medio API. They have a nice little API that's freely available um, for non-commercial use, and um, their demos are pretty good. So I'm just initializing uh, some API clients here, um, this is specified in their documentation. But here's where the interesting thing starts right here, the execution date. So Mage has the um, pipeline level variables defined in the keyword arguments of the of the functions uh, for our blocks. Um, and that means that some default variables like execution date that just comes out of the box with Mage um, are really easily accessible. And so here I'm pulling in the execution date, which will return today's date. Um, and then for our start date, I'm actually defining that as the execution date minus, minus some date range, which I'm also supplying as a variable. I'll show you how to do that in a second. So when we make our call to uh, this weather archive API, um, we can supply a few more variables actually. So the latitude is dependent on a variable as is the longitude. Um, we defined our start string up here and our end string at, by using uh, keyword arguments with another variable, the date format variable. Um, and that's allowing us to basically dictate what's being retrieved from this API. So now I'll show you where these variables are defined. So for pipeline level variables, um, they exist in the pipeline metadata YAML file. So our weather pipeline, if we go into our metadata YAML file, um, we should be able to see the variables down here at the bottom. So basically the format string for the daytime module, our date range, which I'm defining as eight days. So it's gonna fe fetch the last eight days of data. And then our latitude and longitude uh, which is for Santa Cruz, California. So when I run this pipeline, we're passing this payload in and we're getting the last eight days. Now you notice for our history, the, the, the last two rows are null. Looks like it's null for the uh, minimum value as well. And so we're gonna do like a drop NA before we write this, this data. But um, the important thing is that with these pipeline variables defined, as we execute new runs, whether that's from an API or if we want to do this via the Mage UI, we can supply updated variables and actually fetch data from different pipelines, right? So if we wanted to get um, data for the last nine days, we change this date, uh, or rather the date range variable. Um, or say, uh, you know, we wanted a different location, we could supply different latitude and different longitude. And so that actually affords quite a bit of flexibility. Um, and when you're using things like execution date, it means that your API calls can fetch the um, most recent form uh, of data without having to do any additional work. Um, and so that's how you can use uh, pipeline variables um, and parameterized runs in Mage to update an API call that you're making uh, frequently. In, in future tips and tricks videos, we're gonna talk about how this plays into the concept of a backfill in data engineering and how Mage makes that really easy um, for you to do. But for this video, this is just about pipeline level variables, parameterized execution, um, and this should show you everything you need to get started. So I'm Matt, this is Mage, uh, and we're talking about pipeline variables. Uh, I'll catch you next time. Peace.